This arrow diagram shows the marks obtained by students. Set A is all the students in the class. We call this domain. Set B are the possible marks of a test. We call this codomain. Five marks to eight marks are the images mapped by the object. It is called the range. So the range is a subset of codomain. A function is represented as ordered pairs. Negative 1, 5, 0, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 3. A. Determine the domain, the range, and the codomain. B. Represent the data in a graph. Domain is all the data in front. So it is negative 1. 0, 3, 4, and 5. Because this is discrete data, we do not express the domain in this way, where x is greater or equal to negative 1, but less than or equal to 5. The range is the one behind, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Because this is discrete data, we do not express the range in this way, where fx is greater or equal to 2, but less than or equal to 5. As for codomain, since we do not have additional data, we just set codomain as equal to the range. This is how we represent the function on the graph. Note that what we have here are dots and not lines, because the data is discrete data. Determine the domain, the range, and codomain from the graph. We look at the x-axis to find the domain. So the domain is from negative 4 to 2. We look at the y-axis for the range. The range is negative 2 to 6. As for codomain, since we do not have additional data, we just set codomain as equal to the range.